What's up, Roos? Welcome back to another edition of Roos News. I'm Abby Higginbotham. And I'm Jefferson Harwood. We're here to bring you the news from around campus and Kansas City every Tuesday. Chancellor Agarwal and the search committee for UMKC's new provost and vice chancellor held an open forum for students, faculty, and staff last week to share their input on what they want in a new provost. The position was left open after former provost Barbara Bickelmeyer took a position at the University of Kansas. The chancellor emphasized the importance of the diversity of the potential candidates, which was also a concern among the students at the forum. The committee will have candidates interview next month with the intention of instating a new provost in August. The chancellor's office sent a university-wide email last Friday with information about the coronavirus, as well as proper hygiene instructions. Rue News reporter Henry Gamber went out to get UMKC students' opinion on the coronavirus outbreak. We go to Henry for more on the story. I'm Henry Gamber with Rue News. The Chancellor's Office recently sent out an email detailing information about coronavirus as well as instructions on how students can keep good hygiene. We talked to students to get their thoughts on coronavirus and if they think the email was a good idea. I think it's helpful, like, just so people are aware, but I do think it can like, cause students to be worried about it. I am not very worried about coronavirus on campus because I think that the proper authorities will let us know what the best thing to do is and there's no use worrying about it. I worry that if the virus were to spread to the Midwest, it would probably happen first here in Kansas City because we are a regional hub and I worry that that would end up closing a lot of the schools. The Department of Foreign Languages and Literatures launched their monthly celebration of world cultures. Every month, the department will focus on a different culture, hosting events and guest speakers to help UMKC students connect to their cultures. The focus of the first month was Columbia. The Columbia Cultural Association hosted an event called a Dance and Music Celebration, where students learned about cumbia, a genre of folk music in Columbia. The Women's Center put on their annual performance of the Vagina Monologues for V-Day, a global activist movement to end violence against women and girls. All proceeds from the event goes right back into the Women's Center. Rue News reporter Adriana Colina was on the scene. What's up, Rue's? Today we're here at the KC Rep Center to watch the Vagina Monologues. To get more about the event, we stayed afterwards and talked with the crew. There's nothing we do at the Women's Center that I think is as transformative for the people who are involved in it as the Vagina Monologue, and that's why we keep doing it. I mean, we also need to raise money, so that's nice. <laughs> um, and we're glad the audience likes it, but it is really about what happens to this group of women and female-identified folks. I got a chance to do my angry vagina twice. I resisted it because of, of the way I was raised. Like, you don't talk like that in front of company, in, in public. And I remember discussing that with the folks who was there. It was like this awakening. Um, and it was so cool <laughs> to get on stage and say the most classic curse word on, on earth. So that was cool. Uh, I did the woman who liked to make vaginas happy. And in the audience that year was my daughter and her relatively new boyfriend. <laughs> I, I had met this young man, this wonderful young man, once prior. <laughs> we got to know each other real good after that. <laughs> I'm Adriana Colina reporting for Rune News. Catch you next time. Thanks, Adriana. That's it for today's top stories. Next, let's go to our sports correspondent, Sarah Battle. Thanks, guys. First up, Kansas City women's basketball team blew by Chicago State on Saturday, 85-50. to Senior guard Eric Mattingly flirted with the triple-double with a stat line of 16 points, 7 boards, and 8 assists. Chicago State was no match for the Roos' pace and size inside the arc. The Kansas City men's basketball team showed out on senior night with a dominating performance in its 80-58 to victory on Saturday night at the Swinney Center. Senior Javon White led the team with 16 points, while junior Brandon McKissick scored 13 and Rob Whitfield earned 11. The 19 turnovers led the Roos to victory. The men's team will close out the season on a two-game road stretch before heading into the WAC tournament. The team will travel to Utah Valley to take on the Bobcats on Thursday at 8 p.m. Kansas City will play a season final at 3 p.m. at Seattle on Saturday. The women's team will host its final two games of the season. The Roos will host Utah Valley at Swinney Center at 6 p.m. on Thursday. Kansas City Senior Night will occur on the final game of the season on Saturday at 2 p.m. at Swinney Center. That's your Kansas City Sports Update. I'm Sarah Battle News. Back to you, Jefferson and Abby. Thanks, Sarah. 
Runus has partnered with SGA to organize Roos Save Roos, a fundraiser to help the wildlife in Australia rehabilitate after the massive wildfires that spread across the majority of the continent earlier this year. We urge you to donate $5, which will go to Wildlife Warriors, an organization started by the Irwin family. We here at Roo News and UMKC want to save our fellow Roos. You can donate through the link on the Roo News Instagram, at UMKC Roo News. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of Roo News. I'm Jefferson Harwood. And I'm Abby Higginbotham. See you next Tuesday.